Hello, my name is Dean Cartover. This is The Current Buzz. Thank you for watching today. We're going to talk about La La Books. I don't know if you've ever heard of La La Books, but Laura Lemaire Anderson is here, and she's the owner of La La Books with her husband. La La Books is stationed, or not stationed, I'm thinking the military term, sorry. Uh, La La Books is in downtown Lowell, and uh, to my surprise, uh, they've been going on there for two years, right, Laura? I mean, uh, Just about two years. Just about two years, yeah. Um, it's on Market Street. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice bookstore. You should go to it. Um, and they're talking about possibly expanding, am I correct? And maybe downtown Chemsford Center? Is, it's, that's a it's future plans, it's future but we plans. keep dreaming. Dreaming. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> I mean, what made you open uh, a bookstore in downtown Lowell? It started because there wasn't a bookstore that's in downtown correct. Lowell. And there hasn't there, been a bookstore for quite some for time. For several years. And Many that's years. That's not okay. Yeah. You know, that like yeah. a city, a Lowell size, needs right. to have a bookstore. Over 100,000 people. Yep. 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 Um, and so, and we were also, my husband and I, trying to figure out what was the best way that we could contribute to the city and especially to the revitalization of downtown. We mm -hmm. had recently moved back to the city and we live downtown and we wanted to be part of what was a real exciting time of mm -hmm. growth. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, so you open a bookstore. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of inventory, it costs a lot of money, yeah. you know? I mean, uh, so what is it that makes you want to have a bookstore first and then in a city that a lot of people think, you know, People don't read books, but people do read books in Lowell. Uh, and you probably realize that now. Oh, sure. I, I realized that before, too. I mean, um, you always hear that, oh, nobody reads anymore, nobody reads anymore. But you'd be surprised. Young people, older people, everybody reads. They have to find their book. So we've been working really hard to help everybody find their book. Um, we have high school students who come in after school almost every here, day. Yeah. Yep, they're talking about the books they're reading. They're getting excited by the new titles. Um, so people are reading books. And right. I knew that as a teacher. I knew my, my students were always very excited uh, about new book titles and exploring the classroom library. So I knew that folks wanted books available. Um, if you came to my house, it's a library of yep. books. Yep. I mean, that's all I do. I do nothing else in life except have this show and read books. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. But, I mean, Lala Books is, is downtown Lowell Market Street. Yep. Um, you might have to pay for the meter. Are you open on Saturdays and Sundays? We're open seven days a week. Seven days a week? Mm -hmm. That was oh, important that's right. to this us. Is your, you get <laughs> this if you go to Lala Books. Ask them for this for, for your book. Uh, the office hours are, are from 10 to 6, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep. On Thursday, it's 10 to 8. On Friday, it's 10 to 8. Saturday, it's 10 to 8. Yep. And Sunday, uh, it's 10 to 4, which is understandable, you know. Yep. Yep. And we may it, change. We're looking at expanding our Sunday hours to meet uh, customer needs. Is that right? If, Maybe, if the demand is there, we'll do it. Yeah, and you don't have to pay for a meter downtown. So Not on Sundays, on Sundays. no. So, uh, that's good. So in case you go on Sundays, you don't have to pay for a meter. We're also right across the street from the garage, so nice and easy parking. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but no one low parks at the garage, so I need from. <laughs> Sorry, Lauren, but you know I, 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 I know Law. I mean, um, uh, a lot of books is on Facebook. Uh, it's on all the other places yep. uh, that you want to imagine. And uh, there's a telephone number if you want to order books. You can order books. You can order books either by calling, stopping in the store, or going to our website. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Because but there's a phone number, so can I yep. give it out? Please do. Uh, it's 978-221-5966. Mm -hmm. It's lalabooks.lol at gmail.com. That's the uh, email, yeah. and the website is lalabookstore.com. Dot com. So mm -hmm. in other words, if you want to order a book, you can order a book instead of going to other bookstores that are out of the city or out of the area. Right. Thank, yeah. yeah. It's important to support yeah. our local businesses. That's right. It's called Buy Local. Exactly. Thank you. And uh, I have bought books from your store. Yes, indeed you have. Uh, and and supported events store. as well. Thank and, you. and supported events. Yeah, let's talk about events. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of events do you have? Do you have uh, uh, events for children? Do you have uh 
for high school kids and, and adults, uh, explain the events that you had at your store. I know that what kind of events, so, but I want you to explain mm -hmm. it, Laura. Yeah, um, hopefully a little bit something for everyone. So we do have a monthly story hour at the store, pajama story hour on a Friday evening, um, and then occasional uh, children's book authors will come in. Uh, we have some story times planned we're, that we're working out uh, for May with a local picture book writer. Um, and some folks from the Dramatically Incorrect Theater Company who are going to do some storytelling at the store, reading books and things. So those kinds of programs happen all the time. Um, and then we work with our public library in the city and do a young adult book. Oh, club. wow. Well, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that you had that thing with the low library. Uh, Collaboration is important to yeah. us. So we have a lot of collaborations. We're working on the Young Adult Book Club with the library and we hope to expand that to a few more things. We also have collaborations with a few other businesses. So we're right next door to a bar called Warp and Weft. Um, so we host a monthly book club, club called the Boozy Book Club at the bar, which is tons of fun. No and kidding. Yeah. We're, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Wow, I love yeah. that. It's a fiction yeah, club. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, I'm not into fiction. You don't do fiction. Yeah. Uh, for poetry lovers, we're just starting a collaboration with another business called Concept Six. They're on Market Street, um, so and they run a Sunday brunch. So we're doing a poetry brunch once a month with them. Poetry, yeah. Mm -hmm. That wasn't my uh, forte in college. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll keep working on it. I'm working with some folks to do a, um, a weekday coffee book club. We haven't gotten that running yet, but we're, we're gauging interest, uh, and we'll work with our friends at Gallery Z Cafe, which is uh, just a couple doors down from us. Oh, I see. Um, so, Mala Books is in Lowell, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Just want to remember, go down and get a book or order a book from them, please. Um, I know it's hard to get downtown law for some people in Chelmsford. Well, for do. that, we're, we're hoping to participate in the uh, Chelmsford Market Series that you do over the summer. So I put in an application to be a vendor at the Chelmsford Farmer's Market oh, that wow. we do over the summer oh, that's, downtown. That's, so that's crazy. Yeah. As another way to just kind of meet right. more of our neighbors, get the word out, and in that one, we also want to start talking to people like, does Chelmsford want to? Now, will this, will this be new books or used books or a combination of Mostly books? when we go out, and we also do the Westford Farmer's Market uh, several of those days. So mostly when we go out, we bring our new inventory, and the used inventory is back at the store. We have the majority of the store are new books. We have a small used book section with titles ranging from $1 to $10. Oh, okay. Um, and so part I of that, can dump my books on you. Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, although many of our local libraries, Chelmsford's Library included, right. accept book donations, and they that's do. a great way they, to support they, your they, friends. They <laughs> drop your books off at uh, Chelmsford yep. Library. They have a little Absolutely. bin there, and you can go. And, uh, yep. Uh, yep, and that supports great programs yeah, at the library. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I was there for an author from Westford. Mm -hmm. Dave Daniel. Oh, yes. Okay. And he, he's, uh, he lived in Lola at one time. I don't yes, know if he you did. knew that. Yep. You know? And to um, be honest with you, he was my neighbor. We used to go running <laughs> together. But uh, he lives in Westford now, mm -hmm. and he was there. And there was a good crowd. Um, I'd say 50 yeah. to 75 people. Yeah, I think probably about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we do a lot of events with local authors, and uh, it's a great way to bring folks together. You know, a lot of folks who came out to see David Daniel hadn't seen each other in a while, so that was yeah, really that was cool. Nice, yeah. And then it gets his new book out to people who might not have heard about it and might not have noticed it online. Right. Um, so we get we get that opportunity with a lot of local writers. They can come in, they talk about their book or read from their book, and it gets them a lot more exposure. I see. I see. So, um, you, what authors have you gotten in there? And they do signings, right? When, when yes, yeah. Another Westford author, um, Christopher Gorham, launched his book, The Confidant, which is a fascinating history about Anna Rosenberg from the first part of the 20th century, who is one of the most important women of the 20th century, and I had never heard of her well, until I read Christopher's memory, book. I'll refresh my memory, Anne Rosenberg. Uh, she was an advisor to multiple presidents, including uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. She was a key, um, 
key person in integrating the armed forces, um, and she was the Assistant Secretary of Defense, the first woman to be so oh, during wow. the Korean War. Okay. And yet, we've never heard of her, right? Now, so I, this I book might, was amazing. I might have vaguely heard yeah. of her, but I, yeah. I, it doesn't ring a bell. I, I have to read yeah. that book. I mean, that would be interesting. It's a, it is a I, fascinating book. <laughs> now, uh, is, I, I, I know that uh, you're going to have new authors coming in to mm -hmm. sign. How can they, people find out? Is there a calendar online? That yes. Um, on our website, we can... We keep a full calendar of events, so it's in you know a calendar form. You can just choose the date or search by a couple of categories. If you're looking for a book club or if you're looking for a local author, you can easily search it out or just glance through the category. We also try to keep our, our community calendars updated with what's going on with us. So Mosaic um, Lowell is a great resource for finding out about what's going on in the whole city. So oh. we try to post there as well. Oh, okay. Um, the folk festival uh, comes to town. How's that operation work? Do you have tents outside, or do you? Or is that? We were so excited that that the folk festival restarted last year. So um, we were able to set up some. We set up all of our used books outside. Um, which was great for my husband and I because we danced all weekend while we had <laughs> <laughs> that since there's a, a stage right there on Market <laughs> Street. And then the stores open throughout the festival. So um, it was such a great weekend in Lowell last year, and we can't wait to, for it to come back this year. Uh, do you get people coming in by around the books uh, about Jack Kerouac? Or, I mean, Frequently. Uh, I mean, especially uh, last year was the 100th birthday for Jack Kerouac. So there's a lot going on in the city. Um, Every spring now, the Town and the City Music Festival, which references Jack Kerouac's right. book. Well, uh, so uh, lots of folks come in for the music, and a couple folks come in for that Kerouac connection. Mm -hmm. And then every October, um, folks come from all over the place for Lowell Celebrates Kerouac. And uh, they're out there, everybody's visiting. I'd like to ask you to look in your library and see if you have a, a first edition of Jack Kerouac's On the Road that came out in 1957. If you uh, have it, uh, let me know, and uh, I'll take it off your hands. All right. So well, that's generous uh, of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Jack Carroll, if you don't know, is a, a beat writer from mm -hmm. uh, Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, he was. He talked about uh, the American uh, dream uh, and, and traveled throughout the United States. And uh, this was post World War II when the United States was building. Uh, it was about the time that I was traveling out west, and I can remember wor them working on the interstate highway. Hmm. And I was on Route 66, and I remember them off to the side in the hot sun, working on, you know, yeah. uh, pouring concrete and, and doing asphalt and stuff like that. So, um, Jack Kerouac, people come from all over the world to uh, read his, get his books from you, or they, they talk about it? They do. Visitors come in um, from everywhere. They're attending things with the uh, Lowell National Park, and they'll often stop in looking for Kerouac titles as well. You know what you should do is have a, a signing book at that table that you have local authors in, and ha see where they're from. You know, I'd um, be interested. In that would actually be interesting. Yeah, we had imagined at one point trying to paint a map of the world and have people check in on the map. Um, but we don't have the wall space right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, that's true. It's, uh, how many square feet is the, is the uh, Lala Books? We have about uh, 1,400 square feet. Okay. Yeah. That, that's good. Now, do you have chairs in Lala Book where I could come in and read a book and then put it back on a shelf and walk out? <laughs> well, we're not a library, uh, but, <laughs> but we do have some comfortable places to sit. Um, we have public Wi-Fi. So, oh, you um, do? Yeah, we don't have our own cafe, but you're welcome to bring a coffee in, set up oh, at a table, nice. and have some Wi-Fi just to you know, help you choose your book, or once you've read your book, you, you can't wait to, to sit and read it. Go what ahead about some wine? Some what? Wine. Well, there are several places next door, <laughs> and they're very close to us where you can oh. get your glass of wine, oh. but not with us. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's right. You can't. You're a bookstore. You're not a, a, a liquor. We, we do not have a liquor license. license. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. our neighbors, the Athenian Corner, are always open for lunch. Go ahead and have some you, wine over oh, there. Okay. Yeah, that's right. They have some good Greek wine there. Yep. So, I mean, if you uh, want to go to the Athenian Corner, mm -hmm. um, tell them I sent you. Uh, <laughs> So I want to know, what, what was the last book that you read? 
Well, I'm almost finished uh, the book for our book club it's called uh, Peach Blossoms Spring by Melissa Fu. It's a historical fiction set in China starting in the 1930s and going all the way to 2000. It ends up in America. Um, it's a really great fiction. And then I'm also in the middle of Tracy Kidder's uh, Rough Sleepers, which is nonfiction and examining um, the homeless crisis in Boston and in particularly through um, how they get medical care. Did I recently buy that book? Uh, I don't remember. I've been uh, recommending it to a lot uh, of people. Uh, yeah, uh, he's a great writer. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I happen to know him and yeah. know where he lives and I know he has a place up in Maine. Mm -hmm. um, he was a Vietnam veteran, so I, I, I know him. Uh, so, yeah. um, great writer. Uh, yeah. Maybe you could get him into the bookstore. That would be fantastic. Yes, and in fact, I've been talking with one of our other um, partners downtown where they wanted to ha to really bring a couple of those authors who are writing about topics like poverty and houses. Because he, li he lives in Western Massachusetts. Yeah, so accessible. Right? Yeah. And um, what was I about to say? There's a, his relative, Luke Salisbury, is a writer in Chelsea, from Chelsea, and they're related. And he came out with a book about the Civil War, and I'm trying to remember the name of the book, but mm. I can't remember. It's about the Civil War, but I could send it uh, to you. Sure. I have my phone. I, I have a picture of it, but <laughs> I'll show it to you because I had to shut off my phone. Um, my last book was Wagger. It, it's W-A-G-E-R. I'm just trying to remember the author. It, it, it's a recent book. It's about... Uh, a, a crew going around the Straits yeah. of Magellan, yep. and they get shipwrecked, and they're on this island. They named it Wagger after the ship, and they're there for eight months. And they just they some of them have got got off, and they mm -hmm. went up the uh, what present day Argentinian coast, and another crew went uh, up the Chilean coast. It's really an interesting book. I read it in three days. I mean, oh yeah, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, I listened to a, uh, an interview with the author about that book. It was name, fascinating, and now I can't remember I can't his remember. name either. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it was uh, a book like that you can't put down because, mm. you know, what's, what's going to come next? What's, what's happening yep. next? Yep. Um, you have some books with you. Uh, this is called The Lowell Review. It yep. comes out every year. Yep. Um, by the way, your names are not on it. Uh, uh, they have all the names. Uh, my name's not on it, but that's okay. Uh, Mike Mine isn't either, and it's still a good book. Mike Casey's <laughs> name's on it. You know, I know Mike Casey. Um, this is the Lowell Review. It comes out every year. Uh, this is the 2023. You could buy it. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a local, uh, uh, <coughs> I would say, author. It's a local uh, collection of authors. So, yeah, two local <coughs> folks are primarily responsible for putting that review together each year. Yeah, each year. It's probably two or three years old now, I think. Uh, at least, yeah. yes. We have ha we've carried past issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have other books that you want to talk about? Is there... Uh, well... Just a couple new things that are coming okay. out, and we're having the, an opportunity for authors to come in um, into the city, which is really cool. Is this, he's coming in? Uh, yeah, Bill Janovitz and Warren Zanes are coming in together this um, this weekend. Uh, it's about Leon Russell, if you remember Leon Russell, rock and roll, right? And mm -hmm. he's, it says Master of Space, yeah, that's probably true, and Time's Journey Through the Rock and Roll History. Uh, and it's general, uh, I have to read the... Uh, <laughs> the the yeah. right. fun thing about these books, so these books haven't been released yet. Oh, they um, haven't? They have not, so we're not allowed to sell that book today. Oh, that's too bad. Um, but as, as a bookstore, we get advanced copies of lots of books, and then we try to have them all ready in the store on the day they're being released. Yeah, so we'll right. have these available. Mm -hmm. And we did get special permission from the publisher to have both of these books uh, for sale a little bit early just for an event that we're doing. Okay. Um, this is a first edition. Yeah. And let me explain first editions to you. Because I have a lot of books and I have a lot of signed books. Um, mm -hmm. If you get a book signed, one, it should be the first edition because if you get the second, third, fourth, or fifth edition signed, it means nothing in the, in the book world. You have to get the first edition, you know. 
So I just want to let you know that. And you can check the first edition. This one says printing number one, uh, 2022. But the copyright is, tw I mean, 2022. The copyright is 2023. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like maybe um, I should buy this book because the wrong date is there or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you... Uh come by on the right day, you could get that one signed as well. Okay, that's that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so uh, the, the thing about book collecting and, and uh, signatures, um, what I do with my books is um, I have the authors put the date, the location they were, because usually someplace a thousand years from now, they'll know that they were in Lowell, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and then I have them uh, sign it. I don't have, a, I don't have them signed to... Uh, Dean or to Laura, because what happens is um, it, it devalues the books uh, because uh, the name is on there and people don't want books with names down the right. road if you want to get rid of it or you right. want to give it as a gift. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. I have the date, the location, and the signature. And that's what you should do with all books, uh, my personal opinion. But if you're if you're a collector, I am a, I right. am a collector. I have like right. 300 signed books, and a lot of them are, are Kerouac writers. Cool. So um, because they've come to Lowell and you know mm -hmm. they signed the book, mm -hmm. and so uh, Leon Russell. Um, what were we going to talk about this one? Uh, this is uh, we have a strong poetry collection at the store. Okay. Um, and lots of folks who are drawn to poetry, um, which is why my daughter Thea, who's an assistant manager for the store, um, Let me see is. If you got a good <laughs> shot of this book. Thea's uh, starting uh, the poetry brunch with Concept Six. And oh. Danica Kelly is uh, their featured poet for the first brunch. Okay. So the poet won't herself be in attendance of the brunch, but there'll be an opportunity to, to read and talk about the she poem. She teaches at the University of Iowa? Mm. I see. That's interesting. So yes, this I'll I'll this series doesn't focus on okay. okay. This series doesn't focus on locals. It just focuses on they choose poetry. Okay, mm -hmm. that's great. And then we have the deliver deliver me from nowhere. That's probably uh, the making of uh, Bruce Springsteen's Nebraska album, right? Mm -hmm. it's Nebra yep. Nebraska album. Yep. That's interesting. There's one book on. Just one album, is that it? Isn't it amazing how um, focused some research can be and the storytelling that can come out of just that one event? Yeah, it, 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 it was a great album. I, I was a big Bruce Springsteen fan. Mm -hmm. it, it, it won, uh, he came to Boston, uh, and I think he did four or five shows. I went to three of them. Took, yeah. my friends, took my friends, and they were blown away because... He was on the year of like for, uh, for you know, he did a show, no breaks for three hours straight. That mm -hmm. was it. Yeah. And I missed him at the Boston uh, 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 TD's uh, Garden. The Garden, I was yeah. In Boston Garden, but that's mm -hmm. the old days. Yeah, we still call it the Garden. Yeah, I know, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, so, um, what, um, so how, what's the inventory of books in regards to your store? I mean, that's tying up a lot of money, isn't it? I mean, well, there's there's daily in and out. We receive books almost every weekday, uh, deliveries of new things or restocking, and then people buy books every day. So there's a lot of uh, turnover. Um, it's an initial investment to make sure we get the newest mm -hmm. books that people want. Um, but then, if everybody keeps shopping, then we'll just keep turning it over. Uh, there's there are, there are Parker Lectures, right? Mm -hmm. And how do you get involved with Parker, Parker Lectures in regards to authors coming in? Well, Mr. Barron's folks reached out to us uh, when. Mr. Uh, Mr. Barron, oh, I'm sorry, uh, James Barron is. Um, uh, Greek Connection. Yeah, wrote a book called The Greek Connection um, and was part of the Parker Lecture series. So their folks reached out because they wanted the book to be available for mm -hmm. sale. Right. And that's not something the library does. The library is the host of the series. So we went out to be able to sell the book so people could uh, get that and they continue to keep them in the store. Um, and also just because we're.